yo yo what is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new video as y'all can see man y'all can see who i'm using here's my loadout i was thinking of taking them to uh to auto haven because y'all know they like to give us some bullshit maps <laughs> but as y'all can see we're using trapper today um as you can see by the title yeah this this new anti-camp feature ain't really working out so well just like i thought my first game on today and we got a p100 so but y'all know me <clears throat> y'all know me i don't back down to anybody i don't care if this was a, a full lobby of p100s i don't care you know what i'm saying just just i mean you would think that you know p100s would just win majority of their games because they've been playing the game for like what they've been playing the game for years i mean i think i think i looked it up i think it, if you really grind for like at least eight hours a day you could probably get to be 100 in like six months but no like these people got stuff to do <laughs> no, nobody is playing this for six months straight eight hours a day i mean if you are then congrats but more of the story is y'all know me i don't dodge any lobbies I don't care what level you is, you will get that work handed to you. Now, y'all know it's been like ever since Texas Chainsaw came out, I basically haven't been playing this game. And I told y'all that uh, when they dropped this new anti-camp feature, that I was going to hop back on and see how it works. Well, not only me, because I've been playing with some different characters trying to figure some stuff out. Not only me, but my fellow other YouTubers that I watch has came up with a solution <laughs> and if you played this game long enough then i think you know where i'm going with this video so um now this method this is you know the basement trapper method i mean if you saw my community post like i said this will probably get you reported or even blocked but hey it's easy wins but right now okay basement right now um Y'all can see my loadout. I got agitation. And I'm just going to explain this for the people who don't play this game. Because I'm sure I got a lot of y'all who don't play this game. But at the up, uh, we got somebody at the bottom. It's green. That's agitation. It's just where if I carry a survivor, I move a lot faster. And then I got iron grasp. Um, It's harder for them to break out. Oh my gosh, you're cooked already. I got corrupt intervention, which is on the left. That uh blocks off the generators until I get it down. And then we got deadlock to slow down the game. It makes the next gen with the most progress. It blocks it off. So we about to take our ride on down to basement. And uh, by the way, um, I'm going to try to get a few of these gameplays for y'all. Now, mind you, get on that damn mug. Now, mind you, this is how you want to set it up. Because when people come down for a save, they hit that corner right there every time. And you put that right there just to get it out of your way. This is so you can body block basement. And then this is obviously the window. So now mind you, this strategy is a hit or miss. And what I mean by that is you have to get it down early just like that. Now, obviously, you know, common sense, you will have games where um you don't get a hook, you don't get a basement hook. <clears throat> I actually played a game. I played a game where I tried this before and I couldn't do it because uh, I wasn't getting people down by basement. But now since this new update came out and stuff, I'm gonna be trying this. And I know there's gonna be games where this is gonna fail because again, if people are just running away from basement throughout the game, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> you ain't got nowhere to go, but yeah. <laughs> Get on this damn wood, come on. Look at my boy Nick Cage. This is amazing. Now y'all know me, y'all already know, I don't care about getting 4Ks. I mean, obviously, you know, when I do get them, I, I hype myself up. But uh, I've gotten to the point to where I don't care about getting the 4Ks as long as I just, as long as I make the game ill, that's all I care about. Because, uh, oh my gosh, look at you. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, that was nice. That was cute. That was cute. But we ain't worried about that. Let me go ahead and get some points. But yeah, if you play this game, you already know how toxic the community is. So it's like, you might as well just do whatever you want, right? Come on. I can 
can't see her, but I know she sees me. I'm trying to tell her to come. <laughs> I'm trying to tell her to come to come save your mans. Come save your mans. And uh, for the people who are confused, this is pretty much a lose lose situation. Cause for one, if they get themselves off of hook, they're gonna have to run into my trap to get out. And for uh, for two, if their teammates is over here next to the hook like they are. Uh, the hook meter doesn't go up, which allows them to get their self off the hook. So it's either A, they get their self off and I force them to run into a trap, or B, their teammates have to sit there and fight and try to save them, and the meter just won't go up at all because their teammates are in the area, and they die. <laughs> so it's a lose lose situation. Now, I don't know how many views this going to get. Obviously, there's going to be somebody new that's watching. You know, that's on the survivor side. If you mad, I do not care. Um, you know, I don't care at all. I've I've played this enough times to know how BS this game could be. So I'ma be toxic, I don't care. So you just gonna have to stay upset and stay mad, honestly. And uh yeah, see look, watch this. This is what I mean. <laughs> that's what I mean right there. You either get yourself off the hook and run into a trap or just die you it, it's a lose lose situation so come on come on back down there to this basement my guy get back on that hook and take that slap with you now um yeah we know there's gonna be people out there that's like uh well uh i play both sides nah we're not talking about y'all who play killer two times a month, alright? We talking about the killer mains like myself. Y'all don't know what it's like just because you play killer once a month. Don't mean you know what it's like. That's why you play Survivor. You know, you don't know what it's like to go up against toxic teams. And now, there are some good teams out there. There is some good teams, but there's a lot of toxic teams too as well. Like there's teams who don't even do generators. They just run around jumping in lockers and just try to stun you and just spam flashlight you like over and over they, they don't even try like the people who say they play both sides don't have to go up against stuff like that because they don't play they don't play enough games to get into lobbies like that so when people be like oh well uh i play both sides i say i say the game ain't killer sided at all bro you don't play enough to get into lobbies of people that do stuff like that so i don't want to hear it but um, this is what we're going to do. If we can't get him to basement, which they know what's going on. So he's probably not going to run the basement anyways. That was nice. That was nice. It's all good, buddy. And see, look, they do stuff like that instead of running away and getting some distance away. They, uh, they flashlight. But this chin is pumping and dumping. And I, and I um, I'm. When I watch clips on TikTok, I'm noticing a lot more people are crouching. That's actually pretty smart. That's probably what he did. He probably crouched, died behind a wall. That's actually really smart. A lot of people just like, when they find the killer or the killer's in their body, just try to run away. If you crouch behind a wall, that's actually really smart. It's easy to miss him. Bro, I'm not, yeah, I could, yeah. See, I was like, bro, why is this gen still bumping? Now I do got my headphones slightly turned up. Cause I was like, bro, there's no way I'm gonna try this strategy and not hear my game just a little bit. So yeah, that's how I know that gym was pumping. Go ahead. You can go ahead and drop all the pallets for me. We about to make this game nice and swifty. Uh, why did she run through here? She should have just kept holding W. All right, let's see. Are we next to basement? Oh, <laughs> we are next to basement. All right, let's go this way. Now, mind you, this will only work if you're using uh, Agitation and Iron Grasp. Because if you're not using Iron Grasp, they're going to get out of your hands quick. On that damn book. <clears throat> that's the that's the P100, too. That's the P100. So now you on that. So now you got to do. See, the only way to counter this is do <laughs> the P100 left the game. Uh, the only way to counter this is just do gens. And uh, I, I'm gonna 
I'm going to just stay here. I'm going to just stay here because he might. Oh, never mind. Well, that's game. You better hope I don't find you. That's that's the worst thing you could do is get caught. If like getting caught being the last person is the worst thing you could do. Up, oh, gotcha. He better he better hide this so well, bro. He better hide well. Now y'all know me. I don't really usually like to make y'all watch. Uh, if nothing's happening, I really don't. I really don't make y'all watch. So if I can't find them, then I'll just skip the video. I be trying not to edit my videos. Like, I be trying to, like, make everything go smoothly so I don't have to edit. But, I mean, shit, he, he got away. He done, my boy done got away. So, I mean, uh, the bot is almost dead anyways. I was about to say fiend, but we're gonna make sure to call it what it is. That bot that left the game is, uh, <laughs> is about to die. So we're gonna wait for the bot to die. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get on to end game. Right now, what I'm basically gonna do, since he's he's not gonna come out, I'ma just try to look for Hatch. Cause either that or, you know, he escapes. So, and I know they didn't come to play, trust me. Y'all, if you've been watching me for a long time, y'all know that the survivors I go against I don't really actually to be honest I don't really show I don't really sh uh, show what perks they run a lot but I'm gonna show y'all after this game they don't be coming to play they be bringing windows adrenaline uh unbreakable flashlights like they be coming to win so y'all know they they be coming to uh to play man up uh, should I wait I don't want to wait all day honestly uh all right, you know what, now we're gonna close it. Let's close, all right, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do, just in case if he's not next to a thing. Now again, this could be like, this could be a hit or miss right here. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm gonna put a trap right here because even if he does disarm the trap, we still get a notification. And I like that. Shout out to Behavior for adding that. Cause the way this game is, you would think they wouldn't give us a notification, but yeah. Even if he do pop my trap, I'll still get a notification. So, uh, uh, there, there's little buddy. <laughs> What's good, little buddy? Uh-uh. Yeah, you, I don't even know why he ran into me like that. Maybe he just wants to, uh, maybe he wants to get some more ballot stunts before this game ends. Uh, where's little buddy? Uh, uh, there you are, little buddy. There's little buddy. I know he's trying to spin me. Uh-uh. Look in front of you, goofball. That's what you get, yeah. Eat that. Eat all that. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe y'all got me playing this game again because I know y'all been asking for it. But with this new with this new anti-cap feature, well, the people that I watch that play like this, bro, I know they about to come up with so many strategies. But, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that because... Didn't the survivors, like, try to come up with some kind of strategy that, uh, I don't know, some strat that they get where they, they did, where they purposely went down in front of hooks? Or, I don't know. I didn't look too much into it, but they was trying some bullshit to mess with the anti-camp. So, you know, this, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy. I'm definitely finna be experimenting. Let's see what, uh, let's see if the B100 brought sprint burst, okay, adrenaline, <clears throat> like I said, unbreakable, just like I said. Uh, made for this, yep. Resilience, deja vu, unbreakable. I told y'all, spine chill. I told y'all, the people that I go against, they do not come to play. <laughs> hey, they did not come to play, but look, I'm gonna end it off right there, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Definitely some more toxic gameplay coming out soon. I hope y'all enjoyed. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.